Hey, look at the crab here, and we are finally doing a barracks tour. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. I finally get to geek over some of my absolute favorite units that nobody cares about but me. So we're just going to jump right in here. But first, I just want to showcase the fact that I have two separate parts to this video. First part are going to be units that I have put a lot of investment into, to at least some respect, slash units that I haven't, like, that I've built that, like, nobody else cares about that I really want to showcase. But I also have another one of units that are primarily base kit, but are still units that I use quite frequently in my barracks. And I feel like they deserve some amount of attention because I still love them anyway. But we're just going to go ahead and get things started here. First of all, we have my Lumera, and I know she's not plus 10, and I don't want to hear it. But <laughs> she'll be plus 10 at some point. I have been extremely feather poor recently, so give me some time. But anyway, I ended up free pulling a couple of Ascended Maritas. And when I saw Lumera's art and I saw her PRF, I knew that I had to build this unit. So I decided to give one of those to her, as well as giving her attack speed solo, velocity, and times pulls. And she does so well. I don't really use the infantry sword types that much. I find that archetype kind of boring, but <laughs> this is an exception. I think Lumera is absolutely beautiful. I also have like completely fallen in love with Engage, and so I wanted to do one of the Engage units some representation, and she just, she makes me so happy, okay? You're gonna see me, you're gonna like just hear me smiling throughout this whole video, because I'm so excited. Next up, we have my New Year's Goon Thread. Oh my god! Love her, I love her so much. When she got her refined, absolutely stunning. She did so well. I saw that they did her justice. I'm so excited. Uh, Goon Thread is one of my favorite Fey OCs, and this is my favorite of those three, anyway, that she has. So I had to give her some good shit. So she's got Surge Sparrow, as well as SD Near Traits and Attack Speed Menace, and oh my god. This unit does so well. I have thrown her into SD many a times, and she's been able to kill many a units. And oh my gosh, cannot stress enough how much I love this unit. She's definitely high on my list for her uh, getting a florette next. One of these days <laughs> she'll get it. But I absolutely adore her, and I cannot wait to give her even more treats at some point. Next up, we have a unit. <laughs> this is not a unit that people would probably be expecting me to build but i wanted to do something dumb and also i like camilla but i've had this unit for quite a while and i had no idea what to do with her for the longest time i liked her art and i was like i don't i don't know man i just um uh, sure i looked at her uh, plus defense iv and i looked at the fact that i had some defensive base fodder and i went screw it let's be dumb so I gave her Wyvern Katana, as well as Attack of Death Catch, AD Near Trace, and Attack Death Oath. Oh my gosh, she's so fun. She's not, of course, meta-breaking by any stretch of the imagination, but she can tank a surprising amount. I know that she has the attack stat of a pickle, but like, oh well. She still does really, really fun things whenever I bring her in, and... I'm not, I don't regret this decision. Is it the best decision? Do I tell other people to make the same decision I did? No. But <laughs> I still think this is great and that Camilla fans should be excited. Next up, we have my Winter Hilda. Another unit that I wish was plus 10, but I have a hard time saving warps. <laughs> but she still does phenomenal with the plus 2 IV. I know she doesn't have Arcane Lance, like everyone should, any Lance unit nowadays gotta have the Arcane Lance if they're not a good unit, but I gave her the Harris Lance because I don't give two shits about Spring and Kalis, and I didn't end up pulling a copy of Alfred, so this is what she's got. I also gave her a Close Death 4, Special Fighter, and DR Near Save, and like, it's, it's fine. I also know the Hardy Fighter would have been a good option, and let me tell you, it has been extraordinarily difficult to get more than one copy of that skill because I refuse to kill my only ascended farm. So, <laughs> it's fine. She still does really well with her with the kit that she has, and I had to give her a full rep because of course I did. She's also one of my favorite Three Houses characters, and she has one of my favorite pieces of art from what we currently have of Three Houses in Fey. So, of course, I had to build her, even though I'm not huge on armored units. She is still just absolutely stunning. 
Next, we have one of my one of my more questionable decisions, but I don't regret this. I don't regret anything you see except for maybe one unit. <laughs> but this is my plus ten Mathis, my most recent plus ten project, and he is a good boy. Okay, he's phenomenal. I love him. I saw his art. I knew what I needed to do, and I knew that Gerald was there. But I don't care about no Gerald. All right, Gerald is so overrated. Mathis stonks are through the roof. So. I decided to give him some good stuff, such as attack def solo, a little attack def, and then a menace to complement everything as well. Oh my gosh. He doesn't do like the greatest things in the world, but I still think that he can do quite a lot and that people are underestimating this bot. Underestimate about math is y'all. What the hell? All you drill fans out there, y'all y'all better take some notes because my math is coming and he is going to defense you up. That didn't make any sense. But he's gonna do it anyway. Next up is my Subasa, and I love this unit, except for the fact that she never comes home with a good goddamn IV. I'm getting real sick of this. But <laughs> aside from that, I love Subasa. She has my favorite of the TMS cards, and she is so bright and positive and full of energy. She has the cute cat quote. Of course, great unit. So I gave her Surge as well as AS Near Trace and Odd Tempest, and I'm really hoping she gets a really good refine at some point. And I'm really hoping I just get a good ID. <laughs> I might have to use some fruit fruits on her before too long. But I absolutely love this unit. She is so fun, and I wanted to give her a better build a few months ago, and that's what I decided to come up with. And she's beautiful. Yes, you may notice several Barricas were killed <laughs> in the process of many of these units, but it's fine. <laughs> Next up is Chloe, and she is arguably the unit that I've done like the least amount of new things with because she's already such a good unit as, as it is. But I still feel like she deserves a spot on this list just because she has helped me out so much already. She is one of my favorite Engage characters. In fact, she has done bar none the most out of all the Engage units <laughs> that I've had experiences with in the games and the playthroughs that I've done. So she deserves some shit. So I gave her attack speed menace because of course I did and giving her the speed and res IVs. Oh my gosh, this just makes me so happy. I love her art. I love what she can do. I love how strong she is. Chloe, absolutely such a fun unit. Can't get over how much I love her. Next up is my Summer Lynn. And again, she is a unit that I never see people talk about. If, what? what's wrong with Lynn? But when her refine came out slash her forma, I decided that was the time I got to build this girl. And I know that I didn't get her forma, but that's just because she had the plus speed IV and I was like, I don't really want to like change that. I like the IV, it's fine. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So that's what I did. But anyway, I gave her a tech speed catch as well as AD for trace and joint drive speed and combine that with her refine. Oh my gosh, she's so fun. I'm so glad they're gonna use her again. It's been a long time since I've actually got a chance to properly use her and it's just still so nice that she has such a good kit again also Tefish is one of my favorite artists I think this is probably my favorite of the Lynn alts she's just so beautiful and I wasn't expecting that from a summer unit but here we are now I don't normally like to include formas in this list but but we got the beautiful majestic Ilger not the crab but just Ilger and of course I had to include her because why literally why when I in my contract so <laughs> I was so excited when her uh, banner got the revival and oh, y'all heard it especially any of y'all on insta you heard it from me so I decided to give her of course anything that I possibly could and I was so excited that I was able to pick up lethality as well as lmd4 speed preempt and a tech speed oath 4 now, I know Life and Death 4 isn't the best skill, but that's where you're wrong, because it is, okay? Don't argue with me on this Life and Death 4, the best skill in the game. So, in addition to all that, giving her, of course, the full red and the dragon flowers that she deserves, my girl stacks up. Love her every way possible. Maybe she'll be plus 10 at some point, we'll see. Next up is my Summer Claude, and I know that this is a pretty basic build for him, but I love Claude, damn it! Let me talk about my mans! So, he 
comes with attack speed catch as well as attack speed menace. So I know, again, I'm not super original or anything, but regardless, he has done so much for me in abyssal maps and whatnot. Like he is consistently on my teams for those. And also he was my ninja Camilla killer, hence hardy bearing. But oh my gosh, I love him so much. He makes me so happy. I am so excited that I was able to give him the IVs that he needs. Oh, my gosh. absolutely stunning. And now it's time for Veronica. Yes, I'm finally gonna talk about a Vero. <laughs> Good. This makes me so happy. Ilgar and Veronica, my two girls. So, so excited that Vero had her own Grail version, so I had to build it. So I just gave her like a relatively basic build. I got a tech speed catch as well as AR far trace and attack res menace. And oh my gosh, she does so well with what she's given. Also gave her flora guide because why not? She has been by my side for so long, has done me so proud on countless different maps. I can't get over how much I love this unit. And you know what? Everybody should build this unit too. Don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, you should just, you should just do it. Don't, don't ask any questions. And here we are. Of course, it would not be an Ilgur the Crab Barracks tour without Ilgur the, the other one, you know? And oh my god, let me let me talk about this unit real quick. She's the best. I love her. She's done so many good things for me. It's absolutely phenomenal. I, I love all the skills that I've been able to give to her. I will never forget the time that I was able to get Gangloat on a freaking ticket because I did not have enough orbs to summon for Gangloat at that time. So the fact that I was able to get her was, oh my gosh, it was phenomenal. The fact that I was able to get a final Astra, oh my gosh. Everything just came into place. And then of course, getting Surge as well as Close Call 4 and Speed Smoke 4 and then Mystic Boost just to be an asshole. It just, it all came together and I am beyond proud of what my Summer Ilgur can do. And she thrives and she does everything. And it just, it makes me so happy to see a unit as old as her be able to regularly just solo abyssals. Like she can just do that. It's, it's amazing. That's why I love Faye so much. It's incredible of what you can do with an older unit. You do not have to use the meta to do whatever you want to do. And this unit is proof enough of that. And that's why I stand by this girl. She, this build represents me so well. And I feel like she's a perfect representative of what I personally stand for. Moving on, we have another Vero because of course we do, yay! We have my spring Vero. Absolutely love this girl. So, I'm so excited when her refine came out, so of course, gotta give her more fun, fair fun skills. Oh my god, attack speed catch, as well as SR far trace and attack speed menace. And oh my gosh, this is so well. And it was so exciting to see people use this unit for a while. People were like, oh my god, Pharaoh's actually good. Crazy, right? And I know, it's amazing. I love her so much. She's done me so proud. And I've used her countless times. I wish I had more merges on her, but regardless, absolutely love this unit. She's one of the few spring units that I actually care about. So nice to see her here. Next up, we have my summer Freya. And I, Freya is a weird character for me. I love all of the book four units. So as a result, I have to do some. And summer Freya, I actually free pulled. I don't think I was going for her necessarily. I want to say it was like, probably, I think it was going more so for Plumeria, but free pulled Freya and I knew that I had to give her a build. And like, I just kind of like ran with base kit for a while, thought she was fine. But I had a floret and realized that she had a speed, a speed, <laughs> a speed super boon. So I gave her the floret. Also made sure to give her Surge Sparrow as well as Dex B Menace. I wonder which unit that might have come from. But she does so well for me. I don't know. Spray is just a fun unit to use. I think she's a really interesting character. I like her more than a lot of other Fey villains or just Effie villains in general. She's just a weird case. But I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let me just do it. Let me build the goat. So I built the goat. 
So this is my New Year Selkie. I don't want to talk about this unit, but I chose to anyway. My New Year Selkie has good skills, which one may suspect why. So, okay, here's the thing. I'm not a big fan of normal Selkie. Base Selkie pity broke me like right before she was demoted to the four star special pool in the worst way possible. I did not like that. New Year's Selkie, I don't mind. I think New Year's Selkie is really cute. And she did just get a refine, which is nice. But I built this unit out of anger because uh, I wanted to. <laughs> I was really sick and tired of Brave Cellophon SD. I was really sick and tired of Chromie just simply existing. So I made some decisions. And like, this isn't the worst thing in the world. I don't know. This is like the closest thing I'm like questioning. All the rest of my builds, I don't regret. This one, I'm like right on the edge. I don't mind New Year's Selkie. Again, I think she's cute, but this isn't... <laughs> this wasn't a unit I was exactly expecting to do this with. But me or me not have given her the clash as well as the senior traits and infantry speed tactic. We don't talk about it, except I'm talking about it now. I think she is one of the most interesting units in my barracks as a result of what I did that day. But it's fine. I think that it's funny. And, you know, she's definitely a unit that I have in my barracks. Next up, we've got my Gordon. I know he's not resplendent. Shut up. Gordon is a unit that I wanted to build long, long ago. And then just simply didn't. I said on a post years ago, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna build him at some point. And then I didn't do it for like three years. So one day, I finally decided, screw it. I'm gonna do it. Gordon was one of the first Fire Emblem characters that I really found myself attached to because when I joined Faye, I knew next to nothing about the franchise. And I saw him and I was like, pure boy. I need the pure boy in my life. And then didn't do anything with him. I know he doesn't have max dragon flowers or everything. I am so, so dragon flower poor. Oh my god. But I still wanted to give him what I could. So I gave him courtly bow as well as close reversal, little attack death, and joint drive death. And like it's not the best build in the world, but it certainly does something. I mean, he can tank when he needs to. But this is just a unit that has been on my mind for so, so long and took me years before I finally decided to do something with him. So I did. And look at the boy, he's so nice. Next up, oh my god. <laughs> I feel like if people came up to someone else and be like, what did, what characters does Ilgar the Crab care about? Besides Ilgar, obviously, I think a lot of people would say Ignatz, and they are correct, because I did not stop talking about Ignatz for like a full year. Marianne's one of my favorite Three Houses characters as well, but I feel like she gets enough representation from the rest of the community and I, I love her for it we respect all the Marianne stands out there but Ignatz really doesn't get much love anyway and I well, I saw him I said I need to do something with this man and I when I saw him I literally screamed this is by far the unit I was most excited to see them come to Faye and the fact that he was a grail unit absolutely blew my mind wasn't a big fan of the fact that he was an armored unit but we worked with what we had I love my Winter Ignatz to pieces. He is incredible. I just, Ignatz, everybody deserves to have some love from Ignatz. Absolutely love him. So I gave him Distant Death as well as Special Fighter and Endear and Far Save. I know Savvy Fighter would work on him as well. At some point I'd like to put it on him, but I'm not pressuring it right this second because he still does absolutely phenomenal. I even killed Fallen Nail Guard to him because why the hell not? This man has done so much for me. He makes me so happy time and time again. So he just, I'm like, my boy, it's my, it's my boy, it's my boy. I love you. Next up is my base Claude. Now I will say, I'm not a huge fan of base Claude's art, but like, it's okay. It's fine. And it's Claude. So I had to build him. So, knowing that I had the plus speed IV, I decided to just kind of roll with it. And I wish his revive was like a little better, but it's not... Oh, okay. Like, it's fine. Uh, but I haven't really gotten a chance to like, use it that much. It's definitely not bad. So it's nice to see him, like, actually... <laughs> it's nice to see people, like, kind of care about him again, although I immediately saw people forget. But he also comes with the attack speed catch, as well as SD, far trace, and joy drive speed. 
My man does a hell of a lot of work and it's just nice to see him in the limelight again. More Claude representation, please. Love him. Next is my summer Gunthra and oh my god, I love her. Oh, oh my god. I remember that I actually got this unit when I was pulling early in the morning on Thanksgiving day. I was like in a hotel room. It was in a good mood. I'm like, gosh, today's Thanksgiving, let me pull. And I got Gunthra and I got a few other things I was excited about as well. It was a good day. It was a very good day. So as a result, my girl deserves some gifts. Yeah, she doesn't have lethality, but it's fun. I just never have lethality in it. But in addition to Edge Patch, I gave her Life and Death 4, because again, it's the best skill in the game. As well as AD, Far Trace, and Rouse Attack Speed 4. Again, a unit I never see people talk about, but I love her as well. She's, just, she's so beautiful. I I love the hibiscus flowers with her aesthetic. And she's just... She, she's so nice. We love Gunther. I well, guess I'm the only one that does. I've never anybody seen anybody else. I've never seen anybody else build this unit, but love her. And finally, for this first section, we have my Summer Hilda. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a unit that I didn't do much with until very recently, as you can tell. I wanted to give my girls something great, and I saw the Alencia and I originally wasn't going to pull, but I ended up pulling anyway, and I do not regret this decision one bit. I love my Golden Deer girls. I love them, I love them, I love them. And to see them actually do such great things, oh my gosh, makes me so happy to see them with such a good kit. Of course, I had to give them Light Restraint as well as Dazzling Shift and Joint Drive Attack. Oh my gosh, they are so fun. I'm so glad that I get to use, I don't use many healers, but especially with healers getting the representation that they are now, everything is just so much better. So I'm so glad that I'm able to use this unit so much more effectively now, and it just, it makes me so happy. Love, love, love. This is one of my favorite duo units, but out of the fact that they were healers and I just don't use healers very much, I didn't really use them much, but now I can use them even more. Let's go! So that concludes the first section. Now I'm going to more quickly run through just some other units I ended up liking. So, very quickly, want to run over this. We've got my Harmonized Azura. Again, I didn't really do anything with them, but Azura is one of my favorite characters. It's like not from Heroes of Three Houses or Gage or whatever. I love Azura though. Azura is like easily like top 10, top 20 units for me. And this isn't Azura's super incredible build. I don't know why Attack Def 2 is there, honestly. But I still love this. These are probably my go to dancers. I adore their art so much. Kaya 8 did such a wonderful job. So they absolutely deserve a spot here. My Bridal Tharja was a decision that I made at like 1 or 2 a.m. Uh, I, I wanted to pull for her because she was the only one I didn't have on the banner anymore. And was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Uh, bridal units are my favorite seasonals. And I was like, why the hell not? Let me just do it. This is like last year. And uh, I ended up pulling a copy. So I made some decisions and I did some foddering and I ended up with this unit. She's not terrible by any means. I don't entirely regret this decision, but I think she was funny, so I wanted to include her. Now, of course, I have to show off more Veronica, <laughs> but because this is just base kit, that's why I didn't include her in the other one. I love my legendary Veronica so, so much. She is one of my most anticipated units to ever come to Faye, because of course, when you know her story's going along, I knew that she was gonna end up being a legendary or a mythic or something at the end of the year, and the fact she was, and I ended up getting her. Of course, I had to give her the Flores and whatnot, so again, by a case of I didn't do anything with her, she didn't make the cut for the other list, but of course I couldn't just not include one of my favorite units. This is not something I've done a whole lot with, but it's more so like I want to do more with this unit in the future. Scion Julia is a unit that people only use for Luminous Grace, that's literally it. But the fact that she is now in codes right at the beginning of the path is great, so I can finally get rid of this minus speed IV. I would also love to just give her some other fodder at some point. If I had the orbs, <laughs> I would consider going for like Arcane Eclipse on AHR, but regardless, she's just a unit that's like, I see, I give her tech res rain, but that's about it. I would love to do more of this unit in the future just because I can I don't see anybody use this version of Julia, man. My duo leg yarn is an exercise in maybe I should listen to people, but it's fine. I ended up getting 
fate pass for this unit originally because I had the worst luck on that banner. But uh, <laughs> in the end, I ended up free pulling them on the anniversary. I was like, God! But, you know, if only I had known a few months later. But regardless, I still absolutely adore this unit. I love Fjorm and I love Leg Yarn, and to see them together made me so, so excited. And also, the IV that I pulled, as you can tell, was plus attack, so I was able to even improve their IV as well. I don't exactly regret everything. I wish that I maybe got Ninja Camilla earlier, but it's fine. I still absolutely adore this Yona. My Winter Mira, I'm finally putting here because I want to give more fairy representation. Again, not really much has been done here, but I still love Winter Mira to death. I think this is probably my favorite of all the fairy alts. She's also just my favorite fairy in general, but she's just so cute. And I was so excited when I ended up pulling her on the Winter Banner. She's so cute. Legendary Female Byleth, again, haven't done anything with, but she is definitely one of the like closer to meta units. I put in quotes because I know not people will use her as much. But she's still insanely good, and I just absolutely love her art, and I love her animations, and she's just such a fun unit to use. I just have a hell of a lot of fun with this unit, so I wanted to include her. My Ascended Hilda was so exciting to see when her banner came out. I was like, oh my god, look, it's Hilda, let's go! So I also just gave her a Vital Astra, because of course I did, and also she gets a Floret because she deserves it. I love Hilda again. We've already been over this with two other Hildas, but I had to include another one because I love her so much. My female Shez has some good skills with distant pressure, spurn, and time spells, but my god, does she not want to come home? I have summoned on so many greens. She absolutely hates me, but I love her. So she's here by the sake of at some point in like 10 years, she'll be plus 10. And I love her, but we'll see. <laughs> Ymir is a case of, I saw the data mine and decided immediately that I needed this unit. I love Nature Jesus. She's just so, so beautiful. I gave her not really anything particularly fun except for the DC skill, but I still love her. I didn't end up pulling her on her debut, but I ended up getting two off-focus ones, like back-to-back -back banners randomly. It was crazy. But I still absolutely love her. She has some of my favorite art in the entire game. So I had to show her off. In addition, I also wanted to show off Ascended Air because I also love her. <laughs> this is easily my favorite form of air. I love what they did, giving her like this new rebirth life effect. I'm also a huge like fan of just nature things in general. That's kind of that's partial. Uh, that, that is to an extent partial part of my aesthetic. So the birds and like, just the beautiful nature, the flowers. Oh my gosh absolutely stunning so i just kind of had to showcase her i haven't used her like a ton ton because i haven't had her for terribly long but i love her i still love her anyway legendary clot is mainly here because i'm a simp but he's still a great unit and i love him and we we, we, we love and we respect him and the fact that fun fact when i was pulling for legendary female violet i ended up getting her who I used in all my arts of three houses, and my legendary Claude, who I married at the end of Verdant Wind, back to back, literally next to each other in the same circle. Fate, destiny. I, I mean, I got this Claude on his debut, but like, still reminds me of that time. And I love him. This perfect art. Again, didn't want to showcase my formas too much, but I did want to show off this forma Ethlyn. Just because she's not someone I care about too much character-wise, but I still think she's so, so stunning. Again, some of my favorite art in the game. Love Yukaya 8. So I feel like she deserves a spot here, just because I didn't feel like people really cared too much about this unit in particular. This is my newest <laughs> unit that I've gotten here. This is my bunny Triandra that I had to spark for. But I just, I gave her LMD4 because again, it's the best skill in the game. And she's already been so fun for me. I love this art so much. This is right up there with with uh, Mira in terms of my favorite fairy alts. She's just so beautiful. I love how colorful she is. And I'm so glad that she finally has an alt to herself. This is my Brave Pharaoh, which is arguably definitely the least exciting of all of my pharaohs. But of course, all of my pharaohs have to be included in one way or another. So just kind of a simple attack speed push, Wrathful, and Twin Drive Rez build. Nothing terribly exciting. I used her a lot when I first started playing the game. 
so she's more so a remnant of the past of anything else but it's still i feel like she deserves to be here again one of the few healers that i remotely care about and finally i have my bridal fjorm which again is underwhelming at its best but it's totally fine i still adore fjorm this is one of my favorite bridal arts at least she is absolutely stunning. I want to give her better skills in the future when I have access to them, but I, I feel like she deserves a spot here just because I adore Fjorm and I haven't really, I talked about her a little bit with the duo, but she deserves more representation. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of units, but I hope you guys enjoyed this showcase video. I hope that you guys got to see how insane my favoritism is and the fact that I built a New Year's selfie of primarily spite. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. See you all later. Bye bye now.